a J-Lux label for less than $8. This had to cost me like what? I got the receipt, honestly. $3.75. Mm-hmm. Period. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jaya, but you can call me Holly J. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're not, what's popping? So today is Friday and I'm about to head out. Out. I'm already dressed and everything. I'm doing this vlog style because <sighs> vlogging is just my life. Like, it's the life I want to have at least. So today I'm going shopping. What a surprise. But y'all know we have not done this in a while. But the reason and motivator for today's shopping is because I start my new job on Monday. And if you know you know i've been remote for like the last three years including the pandemic making those three years so prior to that i had did like workwear shopping but it's not what i'm trying to give with this new job and yeah that's just that last week i did make a few purchases and i wanted to catch y'all up on those purchases before i head out because i don't think i'm gonna take y'all shopping with me but i will come back and like try to style some things up so that i have outfits in mind for the upcoming weeks and this will continue to be a thing and the inspo for how i want to show up in the workplace now in 2023 and just like how my style has evolved like what i'm thinking is like the cool art teacher and i hope <laughs> i hope y'all can like envision what i mean like i really want to give cool girl like i just don't want to be cookie cutter traditional workwear like i'm just not doing it and i don't think i did that prior either but this time i'm committing to it like it is what it is and that's what it's gonna be and because i do have items already i want to also make really intentional purchases today like i need to get some basics but i'm still keeping my eye out for just like pieces because that's just me and that's how i build an outfit and that's just my style so let's just get caught up on what your girl already has Okay, so one of the places that I went to last week was H&M and I did all of this shopping in Orlando and we have an H&M here in Tampa but like it's kind of on a smaller scale especially compared to Orlando so I was like you know I know H&M has what I like it has my style but let me just see what Orlando has and girl that's where I spend almost all my time but first I guess we'll just start with the shoes. So first I got these boots. Y'all probably like Jay. Why? It's about to be spring. It's about to be summer. Why? Well, they're originally $80 and they were on sale for $25. So let's start there. Um and I have a vision for these. Um yeah, that's all I can say. But super cute. And they're in a light color, so honestly. This is right on time for the season. But if my vision doesn't work for these, I have a DIY that I'm thinking about. So either way, $25 steal. And then I got these cute little zebra neutral shoes. Um, I love animal print as a neutral um, because it has character and personality, but also I can wear a lot with this. So. This will be incorporated in my workwear, I'm sure. So I got these cute little shoes. And then um, I have found some jeans. So I got these nice pair of jeans. I think these kind of flare if I remember. Oh wait, this is not from H&M. 
yikes okay so everything is kind of wrinkled at this point but i got this cute little pink slip skirt and it fits so nicely like i've tried this look before and some of them are hit or miss but this one is very well made good quality and i love it and the color so i got this slip skirt i also got this little black mini skirt with a slit um i definitely plan with skirts to kind of wear like hosiery or you know a boot to kind of alleviate any like too much leg action but definitely hosiery focus definitely hosiery and it's black so that makes it really easy to wear and i love the fit and it's actually not too many so this is also from h&m and then i also got this like velour little pant in this like taupe color i absolutely love it and yes you're probably thinking um but y'all it's an office setting so like how hot am i really gonna be you feel me but these look so good on and i love the color and i just love that it's not regular so yeah i got these from h m as well um i also came across this cute chocolate pleated mini skirt again this is not too many um, I love the way it fit. I love the color. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but I only shopped on the sale racks. So, that's why some of the colors and stuff are a little bit more fall. But, I needed a lot for a little. So, I just shopped the sale racks. And, this is the type of things that I was able to pick up that I felt would work and are my style. So, I also got this chocolate little pleated skirt from H&M. And then, one of the last things I got was this kind of eyelid i don't know this is not eyelid this is a knit um i love the color this like don't let me lie type of blue <laughs> um but i absolutely love this because i feel like it's gonna be so cute for layering like a collared shirt underneath or even with like a dress that has like spaghetti straps and just throw this like knitted sweater over it and some shoes and i'll be good to go or you know anything else that I can think of so I just really love the color and I feel like it's versatile and cute okay and so the other place I went to last week was you would never guess it because I just feel like y'all are so sleep on affordability like y'all just overlook places because you don't see the next girl on IG tagging the pennies, JC Penny, baby. Like I will never not shop at JC Penny. The savings are immaculate, and depending on your location, baby, there's so much to choose from. So again, I shopped the sale racks at JC Penny, and girl, I was like, I just racked up. And I can actually tell y'all, like from the receipt, I got all these pieces for under hundred dollars. Like y'all know that is music to my ears. But yeah, don't sleep. But y'all already know I'm here to like put y'all on. So you already know what the vibes are over here. And if you don't know, now you do know. Girl, I just want you to know you can be fly without having to, you know, only shop here or only shop there. Or like, no. Cut the crap. Cut the music. Be for real. And be real with yourself. You know, this economy is ridiculous. And we have to save our coin. But we also need to uplift ourselves and empower ourselves every day by looking good. So you got to find that medium. You got to find that medium. And I've been living in that medium forever. So I'm your girl. So yeah, let me go ahead and show y'all what I got from JCPenney. And then we're going to go ahead and hit these streets and see what else I can find. So at JCPenney, I mostly found pants. But like all of my pants cost me $10.00. Um, and this was actually necessary because my body continuously keeps expanding these hips. And so, <laughs> my size continues to keep changing. And so, I honestly don't have bottoms like that. So, I was like, you know what? This was actually really worth it. So, most of what I've got from JCPenney were pants. And I got these flare jeans and this darker wash by Arizona. Um, if you know, you know. Such a great brand for jeans found in jc penny so i got these flares super cute 
So I'd be lying if you know I just got everything and only stuff for work. I mean, who could deny the sales that I found? So like I said, I just need pants in general because my body continues to change and so does my jean size. So I got these cute little distressed jeans in this medium wash, really nicely made. Another Arizona jean, um, cute and something to add to my collection. But you know, if push came to shove, I could definitely finesse this for work too. But let's be real, these are just a want. Who cares? Okay, so these are one of my favorite, favorite finds because y'all know cargos are very much in right now. And this lilac lavender color, just call my name. And this is really giving me cool art teach vibes. Like, and they're corduroy. I don't know if you can tell, they're corduroy. But they're not corduroy on the inside, so I don't really think these are gonna make me hot or whatever, but like I said, it's an office setting. Like, I'm not worried about that. So, I got these in this pretty spring color. I absolutely love these. And so I love this style so much that I also saw in this like cognac color and had to get these too. Which one's your favorite, the lilac lavender or this color? Honestly, I'd probably say this color just cause I can use it year round, but that lilac lavender is too good too but yeah so i got the same in a different color um i came across this cute little striped levi's top with a lot of neutral colors with the nice little collar everything like that nothing special but definitely can be used um for work so i grabbed this and as you can tell i definitely need to be worried about tops when i go looking today um, but again, I'm gonna let the clothes pick me what makes me feel good and everything But I did get this shirt. I also came across this kind of oversized sweater vest Again gonna be really great for layering um, That like black mini skirt I have I can like tuck this put a collar shirt underneath it um Put some hosiery on if I really wanted to and then like pop these shoes on and it would be a moment so yeah, definitely wanted to get some layering pieces and I came across this one on the sale racks. It's a little big, but that's just fine. Um, and this was like $14.99. Also picked up this skirt. Um, you know, little fuzzy moment. Definitely could do like a preppy kind of look with this skirt just because of the pattern on it. Um, but I got this as well. And then lastly, I got me this cardigan, which definitely I'm going to need stuff to throw over my shoulders. So that's also something I'm going to be looking out for. Just really statement kind of, um, cardigan or layering kind of situations. I really love the stripe detail with the colors. So I could probably put this on with a lot. So I went ahead and grabbed this as well. So, as y'all can see, I have some starting points. I definitely need basics and some tops to kind of pull a lot of these looks together. But, yeah, like I feel good about my stuff from last week. Um, I'm going to go to some of my favorite places today. Again, I'm going to be mindful of what I can get for my dollar. Oh, I'm going to be mindful of all that I can get for my dollar because I am kind of working with like a limited budget because, you know, I haven't started the job yet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to do too much, but at the same time, a lot of this is for me because originally I was trying to be home still. I was trying to be remote, but I'm trying to embrace this hybrid situation and have fun with it and kind of ignite my creativity and my passion and everything like that some of the things that i've kind of just been really distant from over the last year or so so i'm just trying to like you know keep that momentum and make this fun for me so that i don't lean too far into the fact that i'm about to go to work you know that's all for now let's go hit the town and i'll be back to show y'all what i found
Hey y'all. Okay, so um, I'm in the middle of shopping and I said I wasn't even gonna do this, but y'all, the way that I just ate, my first stop, I thought like this was gonna have to be the end. I just did so good. When y'all see everything I got for what I spent, and shout out to my girl Nandy. I just met her in there. She's too, like, she's too raw. And I don't even, like, she's too raw. We had such an awesome conversation up in there. And I just follow her on Instagram. And she's giving the same vibes as your girl. Like, I might have just made a little sis. Not a little sis, but, like, I might have just made a sis. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, shout out to Nandy at Label Swap. I freaking love Label Swap. I've seen mentioned label swap a few times before but i'm gonna have to really put y'all on because y'all may have to travel to tampa to shop at label swap baby i don't i don't know what you have in your city that's like label swap but it's really my go-to but anyways i'm about to go get some food i wasn't even gonna do all this but i had to tell y'all oh my gosh i'm so happy so now i'm really gonna try to just focus on some basics so i think i'm gonna go on the west shore mall and hit up old navy jc penny again yeah but let's go get some food if you know you freaking know i'm about to eat too good got the mother loving goods let me show y'all this food y'all i rave about this anytime i'm in like the west shore area which is like the city of Tampa, y'all. Oh, hold on. Y'all gotta see this for real. Y'all gotta see this for real. Like, believe me. Quoting Cardi B is crazy though. Um, into it. Get into it. It's a little lopsided because how he kind of put it in the bag, but oh my gosh. Like, this is such a treat for me because this is only in the city like it is not where i live at at all so when i'm in town mm. um so i was hungry because i ate that in like 10 minutes i don't know if you can see the time and i didn't tell you when i started but honestly less than that because i've been watching jayla's vlog and I'm pretty sure I started like five minutes ago. Either way, smashed. Mm. Okay, so now that I've gotten that out of the way, I'm trying to figure out if I still want to do Old Navy that situation or if I should do like a TJ Maxx Ross Marshall situation. I feel like I'll have more savings at, I don't know, because I always feel like TJ Maxx and Marshall's like, yeah, it's discounting, but everything is $10. And so once you get like five things, that's $50. So, but I probably should do that because they have shoes and I need to be thinking about shoes as well, so. I think I will just do that versus the mall. Cause just based on what, it's just so funny. Like I'm a person that will like consider something someone says, but at the same time, I already know what I want to do. Is that the Taurus in me? I'm my own boss, <laughs> for real. Not to say someone's bossing me around, but it's just like, I will ask people for their input or like for help with the decision when I already know my answer. I guess I just like for people to kind of like help me, help me justify what I'm already thinking or maybe they could give me a new perspective and then I might, but no one ever gives me a new perspective for real, honestly. And if they try, it's like, am I receiving it? Anyways, yeah, I think I'm gonna just do like a TJ Maxx situation, yeah. Hey y'all, um, it's Sunday. You can probably tell I'm a little tired. I look a little tired as well, but I also look different. So 
I start my job tomorrow and today just didn't go as it was supposed to I was supposed to like show y'all everything that I had ended up getting that I'm super excited about um but y'all don't really care why I didn't but just know like basically my time had to be split and then I would have showed y'all Saturday but I ended up going out with my friends because they asked me to and I haven't been anywhere since New Year's so yeah that's neither here nor there so I'm probably not gonna get into the haul tonight because I really want to like show y'all I have energy to do it but being that I am gonna start tomorrow I figure I will at least at least show y'all what I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow because I'm really excited about it because it's super cute so let's get into that and then I promise I'll be back with the with the entire haul for y'all so so I hold on so I after label swap I went to TJ Maxx and basically found what I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow so I finally opened the email that they sent me like earlier this week to fill out my onboarding stuff whatever but I'm just saying that because they ended up saying that tomorrow is actually business casual dress code because you know usually the first day it's a little bit more professional but I'm anticipating taking a picture so I'm still gonna come as I was thinking which is a little bit more business professional um yeah but anyways I went to TJ Maxx after label swap that was the only other stop that I did and and in TJ Maxx is where I found what I'm going to be wearing today tomorrow today because it's after 12. um so y'all it's this Calvin Klein I hope y'all can see me. Hold on. So, it's this Calvin Klein jumpsuit. And one thing about it, the Marshalls and like TJ Maxx's of the world carry Calvin Klein all the time. And Calvin literally fits my body so well. Like, that's like my go-to for business professional. So, I found this really cute jumpsuit. Like y'all it ties at the waist it zips in the back it has the collar i love the color it's like respectfully enough cleavage i just feel like this is so youthful with the pocket are they real pockets no they're not real pockets but this is just so youthful but so perfect for a work setting so i tried it on and it was a winner and then also got oh my gosh my niece got cheerios in my bed like come on now and my mama was in here with her so why she didn't stop it because she's a grandma and they don't stop anything anyways back to the moral of the story i got these shoes from nine west and if y'all know y'all know um well, <laughs> I was about to say Nine West is not to be played with. They be having all the cute styles. But I almost, I just remembered I shouldn't say that because let's not sit here in front like these are the cutest shoes in the world because they're not. And I'm not about to sit here and lie to y'all and say that they are. But for a work setting, this heel and this shoe is so comfortable and it's honestly cute on the foot so i just went ahead and i just went ahead and invested in them because when that time does come where you need to be business professional i'm happy to have this as my shoe versus a pump and be miserable because i have long toes like my feet are cute don't get me wrong but I have long toes and I just feel like my like having long toes they do not belong in closed toe shoes so just look see like these are cute for the occasion 
so yeah i'm giving the girls heels and jumpsuit tomorrow um even after they said business casual because baby i'm here to set the tone okay like she is not one of them do not play with her and it's just making me excited y'all i don't know why the quality was like that in the last clip so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get ready to go to sleep and we will chat tomorrow with the full haul of all the goodies i was able to get i'm so excited to show y'all i'm just really tired tonight and i just feel like it's just not gonna give so we'll just try again tomorrow promise okay okay so let's get into what i wore today because i still have to show y'all what i got so i all of these things are things that i got so i got this by the way it's been day two at my job so y'all saw a little bit of what i wore actually no you did not i ended up making that a separate video it was a editor's decision um <laughs> so if you are interested in seeing what i did wear to my first day of work that is in my get ready with me for my first day of work video I think it's on my channel. I may have made it a TikTok. Still an editor's decision, but that's a separate video. So today, I um put on my white button down, which I got from TJ Maxx on my shopping trip. I saved all my tags too. So this was $16, I think. Yeah, $16. And then um, I have gotten this best in a past haul from ross and it finally came in handy today real cute and then i paired it with these good american then i paired it with these good american snake print jeans so these were a part of my um so yeah um these were a part of that label swap haul that i was telling y'all about that i was like really excited for and um i got everything off the sale racks these were actually so this is the brand label swap that i keep referencing and it says everything on the tag so these are good american jeans these are good american jeans and this was the price that they have them for and if you know you know good american does runs you know you about 60 to 80 and up for denim so i got these for 75 percent off um yeah cute and quality because i've never personally never owned a pair of good american jeans um but they are nice okay like they hold you in but like they still let the booty do what it needs to do they have like a nice little stretch to them and they're really thick material like these are denim like like a stretchy denim kind of but either way i personally love me a print i feel like they're super neutral and this color was neutral so i just threw this together and i wore some black loafers I'll insert a picture for y'all. So now let's get into the rest of the items that I ended up getting. And let's just start with label swap. And I'm going to show y'all the price. Everything like that. Because y'all, I only spent $150 in there. And when you see what I was able to get, like I'm really that girl. It's just like mind blowing for me. Like I really do this for real, you know. So I just hope that I am inspiring y'all to do the same but anyways let's get into the haul okay so here's the first bag um so the first thing in this bag sorry y'all i changed my clothes because the white shirt is messing up the quality of the video um okay so this is the first thing i'm going to show y'all are these like you know, just some pleather pants. I always love a pair of these. Um, they're edgy, but also black. You can't go wrong. But just like a different material. You know, that kind of material. And like I said, my body has been changing. So I have a pair of these, but they are too small now. So 
I found a replacement. These are some I&M jeans. Um, but either way, they had them going for $19.99. And I got them for 25% off. So you do the math. Really cute. Yeah. Why don't I just do it the way I did it earlier? Okay. So then the other things are, I also got these. Next thing on the list is these Urban Outfitter kind of, you know, cigarette pants. That's what you call these, I think. Like cigarette pants. Um, They remind me of like the white boys I used to go to school with. Like, you know, they used to wear like these pants or whatever. <laughs> but they're in this really nice light gray color and they fit really well. And these were $16.99 at Label Swap. And I got them for 25% off. So, yeah, really cute, cute, but also functional. And I really enjoyed this light gray color because I don't really have any bottoms this color. Um, to me, details matter. And this little button kind of gives me inspiration of how best to wear this. You know, more of like a light and airy fit versus a edgy cool girl fit but either way but like i just want y'all to know like i pay attention to stuff like this it kind of gives me the mood and feeling of the outfit that i will create for something like this um if it had like silver buttons that would change the vibe of it completely so just a little tip when it comes to style so i also love me a, a jing him i really don't know how to pronounce that um, a gingham, a gingham moment when it's this like repetitive black and white dots situation. Black and white is super versatile. Um, I always keep me a pants like this. I actually still have one of my fan favorite pants that have like ruffles at the bottom. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all don't care. Anyways, I saw these and these were $12.99 at Label Swap. The brand of this is Rebellion X. I don't know much about them, but anyways, love these. They're just like capri length, black and white, um, little fake pockets on the back, but really cute. Definitely can do a lot with those. So I really enjoyed this pickup because this is like not something I typically go for, but obviously this was for work. So it's this laundry by Shelly yeah laundry by Shelly shirt and y'all really would just have to see it on because it's so fitting to a woman's body it's just like I just love the silhouette of this shirt and it has a collar and it like ruches and it has a zipper on the side so you can only imagine like how it like zips to your shape uh so good and it's white you know just a perfect top but if you ever just catch the drift with me, like, I like my clothes to be interesting. Like, I don't like boring outfits. I don't like boring clothes. I know you have to have basics. But, um, I want for my things to have character. And this shirt really has a lot of character. So, I was in love with this. Got it for 25% off. And it was originally $22.99. So, you can tell this is like a really good quality shirt because why is a shirt 20 over $20? In my book, there's something wrong with that. But we say 25%. <laughs> Y'all can call me cheap if you want to. I don't care. It is what it is. So one of the next things I got were these really pretty silk satin pants um, with like a little bit of pleating on the front and pockets. And, you know, fake pockets on the back. But they're basically kind of like slacks. They're not too form-fitting. But definitely like more flattering around the hips and butt area. And then definitely kind of like relaxed towards the bottom. I really love this color. Very nice transitional color for spring and for other seasons. And I got this for $14.99. This is a J Lux label item. Like... Label Swap is that girl. Like, I actually have never shopped at J-Lux, but I definitely see their ads all the time on Instagram. And, you know, I see um, other creators talking about this label as well, and it has really nice quality stuff. 
and I got these for 75% off. J Lux label for less than $8. This had to cost me like what? I got the receipt, honestly. Got the receipt, honestly. Mm, just look at the prices, okay. Let's see what I actually got this for. $3.75. Mm-hmm. Period. Because what? Well, obviously, it didn't stop there. I have a second bag to show y'all. So this next piece is like a mesh, see-through, kind of blousy situation. This is not typically my style. It's a little too just a little too not enough edge but it is black and how i probably would use it is for like to wear over dresses that possibly have little straps you know for the workplace and this is actually by daniel something and it was 6.99 price 25 percent off you do the math mg so this next piece i saw it and y'all probably will see and be like girl what but you know i got that eye so i don't care i love it and it's literally like it's literally yeah and then remember i got those lavender cargo pants just remember and y'all might think that's a lot but it's a and look it really is but i haven't tried it on together so we'll see but here it is in all of its glory it's a button down shirt and i don't know what you would call this like texture that's been like added to the shirt on top of the satin and the collar and the pattern i know it's got a lot going on but just hold on guys just just follow me so this is by NWT. I don't know what that means because I was seeing a lot of stuff called NWT. And I see NWT on like Poshmark and stuff. I need to figure out what the acronym means. If you know, let me know so that I can be up on game. But this is by the Copper Closet. You can't really see, but the Copper Closet. And it was $19.99. So this I got full price because it just really called my name. And, you know, I'm going for, like, the cool art teacher look. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is it. So, this is probably, like, one of the most basic items I got because this is so, like, okay, I'm going to work. You know, it's a, it's a little trouser slack, whatever, khaki, whatever. But it has a little bit of character, plus it's color. Um, and it's made really well. So, it won me over. Um, it's from Zara. And I got these. At full price in label swap for $16.99. But y'all already know this was probably like $40 in Zara for real. Because y'all already know how Zara do. Fit really nicely too. So yes, yeah, basic. But I mean we got pockets. We got pink. We got a little pleating. A nice little like waist detail. You know. Cute for the girls. Cute for spring. I'll take it. So this was definitely a moment as well that I found. It's pink. It's a crop blazer. I am not sure how I'm going to wear this just yet. I am not. I got to really put my mind to this one just because it's like a crop blazer. So I got to figure out what's going to like be flattering to my body and everything to like make this all come together. But a crop blazer and it's like such good quality and it's pink. I was just like, this has to come home with me. So it's originally $34.99. I got it 25% off. And it's by Lioness. I don't know much about this brand, but I can tell that it's a little bit more upscale, like a Zara, as far as its quality. And yeah. I like pink. I wear pink. This is like a very spring pink at that too. This throws me off just a tad because this is that same kind of vibe as like a, oh, what they said, country club, you know, like preppy, like preppy, you know. So maybe a skirt. I don't know just yet, but it'll come to me. And the last piece I got was this cute like baby doll shirt. 
um but it's really a vibe because of the blue and white stripes you know this is like this is very work wear but like fashion girl like this is definitely like a pattern and colorway that works in a lot of ways and i also really enjoyed this type of shirt um so i thought that was really cute with the collar and the little sleeves and i got this on sale and this is actually a label swap piece i guess they don't know the maker but it was 12.99 and it was 25 percent off so the last few things i have to show you are from tj maxx i didn't get a whole lot but i also got this little you know just i don't know what you call these it is like a knit um fabric and it kind of gives that sweater vibe. So definitely would use this in a similar way that I did today with like the button down shirt coming out of it or something. Just a layering piece. I could wear it solo, but that's a little boring. So I would probably layer it. And if y'all remember, as I was headed to TJ Maxx, I was like, okay, I'm gonna look for basics. They didn't have a whole lot like I was hoping for, but I did find um, the button down shirt and that's gonna go a long way for me especially since it's cold outside right now I'm not understanding but that's gonna go a long way for me and then I also found this bodysuit which is nice and form-fitting but also it's like double lined which is so perfect I don't understand why bodysuits don't be double lined because I guess they think everyone is slim fine and petite some of us need a little a little give, a little, you know, like, don't show every little crevice and roll, please. So, I got this one in white. This is all that they had. If they had more, I would have got more colors um, for $12.99. But, like, you know what? Don't even get me started. Anyway, y'all know I said I was going to style, like, put together some outfits from this haul. But y'all don't know the amount of effort it takes to take clothes off, put them back on. And, you know, it's a lot. I'm not making excuses, but I just don't. Like, if I do that, this video is going to be done over a course of multiple days. Because I don't know if I have it in me to do it tonight. But what I am thinking is I'm going to show y'all what I think I'm going to wear tomorrow. Because that's me styling an outfit. Um, and I need to try it on to see if I actually like it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, maybe after my shower I might feel it, you know. So I might be back, watch a little movie and just like B-roll it. Like, you know, like mute, put music over it. And you guys just kind of time lapse it. You know what? I will do that. I can do that. I can commit to that. Get to the first outfit first. Way, this is so cringe to me that you can see my bra straps. Mm. But anyways, it doesn't matter. But I'm just saying, like, if this is making you cringe, it's also making me cringe. But the rest of the video will just be time lapse and me styling some pieces. Just getting an idea of what I could do with what I have or if I still need some other stuff before building some outfits. So for now, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Also, comment down below what was your favorite piece that I got. Um, are you jealous of label swap? Like, yes. And also, yeah, let me know which outfit you like styled the best or just like what was your favorite piece that I got from this entire collective work haul and i will see y'all in my next one do it on the bed, on the floor, on the couch, on the kiss, and lips, and make it to my mouth. Just because I can't kiss back, doesn't mean you can't kiss back.